My name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. <clears throat> we are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve two algebra word problems. These so-called word problems that we're going to do today are very straightforward, very simple word problems. Problem number 131, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says find a number such that the 5th, the 15th, and the 25th parts add up to 23. In other words, if you were to take the 5th of the quantity, let's call the quantity x, if you were to take a 5th of it and add up the 15th of it, and then add up 25th of it, if you were to do that, we are told it should add up to 23. There is your equation. All we have to do is solve this simple, straightforward equation. Very first, very first thing we need to figure out is what is the least common multiplier that we can find that we can employ here, that we can use here as the common denominator. Let's find it, shall we? Here we have a 5, here we have a 15, and here we have a 25. And we want to find the smallest possible multiplier because it's smaller the number. The less work we have to do, obviously. We could actually use 5 times 15 times 25 as the common denominator, and that would do the job, but that will create a hell of a lot more work. Do you understand? So let's divide everything by 5. So that becomes 1, this becomes 3, and that becomes 5. I guess that's the end of the story. That's it. There's nothing else we can do here. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 3 is 75. We need to have a common denominator of 75. How can we... How can we make this 5 into a 75? Well, that's very straightforward. We have a 5 here, we have a 5, we have a 5 here, we need 75, which means we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 15. And if you were to do that, now we have a denominator of 15 times 5, which is 75. In the, in the, in the second case, we have a 15. In the second case, we have the 15, which is which is 3 times 5, we have the 15, we need to multiply it by 5. So let's do that. 15 times 5 is going to give us 75. And in the third case, we have the 25, which is 5 times 5, 5 times 5, which means we need to multiply 25 by this other 3, because we have 5 times 5, which is 25. Let's multiply it by 3. That's all. Okay, this, this parenthesis should go away now because we're talking about, we're not talking about 5 times 5. We're talking about this 5 times 5, that gives us 3 there. Since we are multiplying, since we need the denominator of 75 throughout the equation, we have the 75 here, 75 here, 35 here, but here we have a denominator of 1. We need 75, so let's multiply this quantity, top and bottom, by 75. Now everything has a denominator of 75, which means we are at liberty to simply ignore the bloody thing. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to ignore the denominator now. The denominator plays no role. Everybody has the same denominator. There's no, there's no reason for anybody to try to show off. Everybody has one. So 15 times x is going to be 15x. 5 times x is 5x. And 3 times x is just 3x. And all of that has to equal 23. 23 times 75. 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 3 is 23, what do you know? That makes our life simple. 23x equals 23 times 75. Divide both sides by 23 so that we can have the x by itself and we are done. 23 is going to cancel out. And x equals, 23 is going to cancel out here, x equals 75. x equals 75. The last thing we need to do, as always, is to make sure that our answer is correct. We need to verify it. Let's do that. Let's take a few seconds to do just that. According to the problem, if we were to take the fifth of the quantity, which we are claiming to be 75, so if you were to take the fifth of the 75, fifth of 75, tenth of 75 is seven and a half, so fifth should be 15. And if you were to take the fifteenth of it, if you were to take a fifteenth of the 75, how many 15 does 75 have? It has 3 15s, not 3 15s. 3 15s are 45. It has 5 15s. 5 15s are 75. 
and then if you were to take the 25th of it, how much is 25th of 75? 25th of 75 is 3. The question is, does the fifth, do, do the 5th, the 15th and the 25th add up to 23 as the problem tells us? Let's find out. So the 5th we found out is 15. 15th, 15th of the we found out was 5. 15 plus 5 is 20. And the 25th of the number is 3. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. They do indeed add up to 23. Turns out that the answer is correct. Let's do one more, shall we? You should try to do it yourself by pausing the video. You will get more out of it that way. Here's the next one. Find a number such that such that such that it's third, the sixth, the third, the sixth, and the ninth parts add up to 55. So same exact, same exact logic, same exact rationale, same exact methodology, nothing has changed. It's the exact same problem as with, uh, like the one we just finished with just different numbers, different quantities. But it's not going to change anything. So let's do it, shall we? So we need to find the third of the quantity. Let's, let's call the quantity x. If we were to take a third of it, then if we were to take a sixth of it, and then if we were to take a ninth of it, we are told that these three quantities, these three quantities have to add up to 55. Question is, what is that quantity? Let's find out, shall we? As always, we need to have a common denominator. We need to find the least common multiplier. So we have a 3 a 6 and a 9, everything goes into 3, so we end up with 1, 2 and 3 and that's where the story ends. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, we need the common denominator of 18, everything that's the least common multiplier that we can find. How do we convert 3 into 18? Divide top and bottom by 6. Of course, because we have the 3, we need to have 6, you see, 2 times 3. Here we have the 6, we have the 6, 2 times 3, we need a 3. And here we have a 9, which is 3 times 3, we need a 2. Everything has a denominator of 6, 18. We need a denominator of 18 there as well. So let's do that. Multiply top and bottom by 18. Now, everything has a denominator of 18, which means we can ignore the bloody thing, which is precisely what we're going to do. We can ignore the denominator because it ceases to play any role. We just have to concentrate on the numerator, which is 6 times x, which is 6x, plus 3 times x, which is 3x, plus 2 times x, which is 2x, and that has to equal 55 times 18. 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. So we get 11x equals 55 times 18. We're not interested what we're not interested in finding out what 11x equals to. We want to find out what x equals to. Let's divide both sides by 11. We divide both sides by 11. The 11 goes away, and the x would have to equal 55 times 18 over 11. We need to reduce it. We see 55 on the top. We see 11 at the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by far, uh, by 11. If you divide top and bottom by 11, 11 goes away and 55 becomes 5. The answer is x equals 5 times 18. x equals 5 times 18, which is 90. As always, we're going to take two seconds to make sure that our answer is, is indeed correct. We're going to verify it. Problem tells us that if you were to take a third of it, 
third of 90, and if you add up 6 of the 90, 6th of 90, and if you were to take the 9th of 90, the 9th of 90, these three quantities, according to the problem, should add up to 55. Let's see if they do or not. Third of a 90 is 30. Well, if a third, if a third of a 90 is 30, then the sixth, which is two times as much, if you divide the bottom by twice as much, if the third is 30, the sixth would have to be 15. And the ninth of 90 is just 10. Do these three quantities add up to 55? That's the question. 30 plus 10 is 40, 40 plus 15, 40 plus 10 is 50, 55. There you go. They do indeed add up to 55, which means that we did not make a boo-boo. Bye now.